so it's a little funny for me to be in this position because I wrote a book about the changing pace of higher education 10 years ago. And I went out as an advocate, um, really just trying to explain to people what I saw as the huge pressures on this sector. And here we are 10 years later, it kind of took a while for the iceberg to hit, but this really is such an incredible convergence of not only, it's not only the financial pressures on colleges, it's not only the uncertainty of whether and when they can return to offer that in-person experience, but it's, you know, they've forcibly driven the entire higher education system online and how many students are going to decide that that's where they want to be or that's where they want to stay, you know, whether it's out of choice or necessity or a combination of both, you know, the, the colleges that are going to come out of this looking really good are the ones that already know how to educate students at scale online, and give them a relatively good experience.